What's going on everybody, it's Brian for the TechMob.net and today I'll be showing you how to create a bootable USB drive for Windows 7. So Microsoft has their own Windows 7 USB download tool and what this allows you to do is take a ISO of Windows 7 and create a bootable USB flash drive so that instead of using a DVD you could just plug in your flash drive into your computer and then you could boot from it and then you'll be able to install Windows 7. So doing it this way is much faster than a DVD because, well, DVDs only have a certain amount of speed that can be carried out from the disk. So using a flash drive will make sure that the install is much faster. So I'll put a link to the Windows 7 USB DVD download tool in the description. This is just the web page for it. It gives you a lot of good info about it. And this doesn't only work with USB drives. If you have an SD card, you could do that. If you have an external hard drive, you could use that as well. So that is what this is for. So I just finished re-downloading a, uh, a copy of Windows 7 Professional 64-bit with Service Pack 1 through the MSDNAA through my university. And the ISO is right here in my downloads folder. So I've already downloaded and installed the Windows 7 USB DVD download tool. So I'm just going to go ahead and open it up and there are four steps so the first step is to choose the ISO file so I'm gonna go ahead and do that right here click on next now we need we need to choose the media type so for this video I'll be using the USB flash drive and you also need a flash drive that's at least four gigabytes or larger to do this so my flash drive is four gigs so it fits within the space criteria so I'm going to go ahead and click on USB device. Then you have to choose which device you like to choose. So here is my uh, USB flash drive. So we're going to go to begin copying. And it will format your USB drive so everything on it will be erased. So if there's any important files on it, make sure you get rid of it beforehand. So right now it is formatting it. And I believe it formatted it as NTFS because... That's what it requires instead of FAT, yeah, because before the file system for my flash drive was FAT and now it's NTFS. So right now it is extracting everything from the, uh, from the ISO and it's copying all of the files to the flash drive. As you can see here, it's beginning the file transfer operations. So I'm going to go ahead and skip over to when it is almost finished. All right, so it looks like everything just completed successfully. So all we have to do now is close out of this, unplug our USB drive if we're using, if we're planning on using it in another computer, or you could just leave it in your computer and boot from it, and you'll be able to install Windows 7 right from your USB drive instead of having to deal with a slow DVD. So thank you for watching my video on how to create a bootable USB drive for Windows 7. Now I'm pretty sure this works with other operating systems as well, so if you have an ISO of Windows Vista, if that's something you'd like to use, or Windows XP or something else, possibly Linux, then I'm sure you'll be able to use the same tool to create a bootable uh, USB drive for that operating system. So thanks a lot for watching the video. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions about this or anything else, feel free to leave them down below in the comments area. But that's about it with the video. So thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you all very soon.